Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. Joining us this morning is Todd Slisher. Thank you so much for being here. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Of course. We are so excited what we're talking about, the new Sloan Museum of Discovery. That's getting ready to open pretty soon. But first, Todd, as the CEO of the Flint Institute of Science and History, what are you responsible for, and what's your nonprofit's mission? It's so exciting. Yes, well, I, as the CEO of the Flint Institute of Science and History, which is kind of an umbrella group, mm -hmm. I run the Sloan Museum and Longway Planetarium, those two institutions. And together, we engage communities on a learning journey in history and science. So we're all focused on those two topics, science and history. And the new Sloan will have lots of both uh, when we open up here in July. And this is what is so awesome, what we're about to talk about, viewers, because this is some family fun for everyone. As you prepare to open, what are the first hands-on exhibits that are arriving, and what are you most excited about, Todd? Oh, man, it's hard to pick just one because <laughs> there's so many great exhibits that are going to be going into the new Sloan. Um, right now, they're installing exhibits in the new Early Childhood Gallery, so this is a special space for kids 0 to 6 years old. But I'm probably most excited by some of the exhibits going into Discovery Hall, which is our hands-on science gallery. And one of the two really cool things I'll, that I'll mention real quickly, yeah. one is we have a water table that is shaped like the Great Lakes. So water oh actually gosh. runs through it from Lake Michigan and Superior into Huron, into Erie, Ontario, out to the Atlantic Ocean. There's even a giant melting glacier that's pouring a waterfall down what? into the water table. And another piece in that gallery is a giant three-story tall earth globe that is, uh, has earth science exhibits inside. So there are weather and climate exhibits, exhibits about earthquakes and volcanoes. There's even a slide that comes oh. off the top of it that we call the landslide and a climbing structure that runs all the way through it. So it's wow. really going to be a, a very engaging, hands-on yeah. organization and set of exhibits that teach you all about history and science. Okay, Todd, my kids and I will be first in line for that. I mean, that sounds so exciting. Kids of all ages have so much to look forward to. Now, Todd, the Sloan Museum staff includes many educators, which is great. So how does education, how does that staff help kids learn about science and history while they're at the museum? Well, education is really what we're focused on. Yes. We're a, what they call an informal educational institution. We're not a strictly a school, right. but boy, we serve a lot of school kids. About 60,000 school kids come through Sloan and Longway each year. And our educators are either on the floor interacting with them at the exhibits, or they're in our learning labs, which are our special hands-on learning classrooms presenting a program. Or you might even find them in the new Maker's Lab. Um, we're calling this the Discovery Lab. And this is an area that you can make and tinker and host a lot of things like robotics clubs and 3D hey. printers and other things like that. So many, many different ways that our educators engage with the community, both here and then out at schools and libraries and community centers around the cold community. Wow. Okay, so Todd, you wear a ton of hats. You are also the executive director over the Longway Planetarium, which is just across the street from the museum. So does your staff also use the planetarium experience for hands-on activities? Yes, we do. Um, really, the two organizations are all kind of part of the same organization. And we do hands-on programs over at Longway Planetarium, in addition to the traditional kind of star shows and astronomy right. and even some laser light show uh, type things over at Longway. Longway itself was renovated about uh, five to six years ago, and we recently upgraded it to Digistar 7, which is the latest and greatest in planetarium software. So if you haven't been to Longway for a while, come out and check out some of our shows over there, too. Definitely. And I understand that you are almost finished with the crowdfunding campaign, Todd, but we also know with inflation, prices have really increased on building supplies and materials. So does this mean more fundraising is needed, and how can people really help out? Yes, um, we, of course, have seen some price increases yes. for all of our building supplies and our exhibit materials that have gone in. We're still trying to raise a total of about $1.2 million more mm -hmm. for this project to make sure that we can bring the robust experience to everybody. And right now, there's a patronicity campaign that's a crowdfunding-type campaign 
that is going on through the end of March. And we are trying to raise $30,000 through that campaign. And if we do, we have an anonymous donor that will actually match up to 20000 of that. So we uh, really encourage everybody to go to patronicity.com slash Sloan and check that out. And if you feel like you can make a gift, your name will be in the front lobby for the first three months. And if you even go up to about $150, you can get a brick outside the building that will be there permanently. Oh, your own brick. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Todd, I have to... Now, first of all, when is the, the Sloan opening? When can people get excited about that? And anything else that you want to let people know about the Sloan Museum of Discovery that's opening up? Just that our grand opening weekend is planned for July 16th and Ooh. 17th. So okay. this summer is when we will uh, be rolling things out and doing the grand opening. So start looking for those. Tickets will go on sale about two weeks beforehand. And the other thing yeah. that people should know in Genesee County because of the arts and culture millage, the admission to Sloan Museum for Genesee County residents will be free. Wow, it is a win-win for everyone. I mean, this is exciting and it's right in our backyard. Todd, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me on and letting me spread the news. Of course, gotta get excited about this. This is right here in our area, guys. For more information on the Sloan Museum, including where you can donate, it's in the hot link section at WNEM.com.